Hey y'all, it's Brad Allen with The Art of Real Estate. Today we're in downtown Greer to show you why everybody is flocking to this town. It's been around forever, it's got a huge history, it's got a lot going on, and we're gonna show you all the cool spots and why maybe you wanna call Greer home soon. For those of you that don't know, Greer is kind of tucked halfway between downtown Greenville and downtown Spartanburg. It's been around since the late 1700s. And the thing about Greer is it's always been that stopover town. Back when people were in horses and wagons, they had to take a break. And that is where Greer really kind of exploded. It's got all the historical charm that you come to love of old mountain city towns. You're about 20 miles from the base of the Blue Ridge Mountains. You're about 20 minutes from downtown Greenville and downtown Spartanburg. Greer has everything to offer, whether you're looking for mountain life, you're looking for rural living, or a little bit of a city center. Since the 1970s, as commerce has kind of left these small rural towns, what has happened is the revitalization of Main Street to make it more of a communal space for the surrounding areas. And Greer and their leadership has done a phenomenal job of bringing Main Street back to life. I mean, like Plate 108, you've got Select Restaurant, you've got Barista Alley, you've got all these local artisan places that are set up shop because that is what our community demands. Greer's done a really good job of curating public events to help make their own sense of community. And they put a lot of time and money into the infrastructure to make that happen. One of their shining jewels in all of Greer is right here at City Park. Whether you wanna come here and play with your children, throw a ball with your dog, sit and read a book by this awesome water feature, and take part in the farmer's market. City Park in Greer is the spot to be, but it's not the only one. So make sure you check out the other parks because Greer is doing a phenomenal job of making sure that they are making their own sense of community. All right, y'all, so let's talk about housing. And to be honest, the world's your oyster when it comes to Greer. Since Greer is such an older established city and not some brand new, massively produced, planned urban development, it's honestly got something for everybody. The closer you get to city center, you're gonna find cute little streets like this on Davenport, where houses were built maybe in the early 1900s. They've gone through a couple of transitions and renovations, and you're getting the cute, historic, southern charm that you come to like and know about Greer. But also, it's such a sought after location that builders also took note, and they're building all across this region, from every price point you can imagine, with every material and design. So if you're thinking about moving to Greer, don't worry, there's most likely a house in your style waiting on you. Hey, we hope you enjoyed our tour of Greer today and learned a couple of things. But remember, whether you're a foodie, whether you're looking for land, or you're just looking for a sleepy southern town, Greer has it for you. So if we can be any sort of resource for you, whether it's for housing or recommendations to restaurants, we're here to help.